Ko ane kai nga te maunga, ko te wairahi te awa, ko ngā tiwai me ngā puhi nui tonu ngā iwi, ko te whānau whero, ko ngā tihine, ko ngā tirehua, ngā hapū, ko whananaki te marae. Kei matapauri tōku kai nga noho, ko Dorothy Wake pe tōku ingoa. I feel really blessed to live where I live. I'm very fortunate to be close to the sea, the sounds of the sea, the vastness of the sky, and the colours and the sounds, the smells. They're all part of the environment around me. I have, a, I guess, a natural affinity to uku or clay. I found it, uh, I was drawn to it more easily, more readily than uh, painting. I find uku healing. Conceptually, it's very inviting with its connection to the life force as a material. I like the materiality of uku, the creative spark that from inside of me connecting with that creativity, that life force in the uku. So with Dot, I was looking for a textural element because her, her sculpture is so elegant and beautiful. It doesn't need much at all, like just look at it. So when I saw her initial drawings, I just thought, oh, this is just gonna be nice and simple. So I was looking for a textural element, one, um, to bring whiteness into the piece, because I think white is quite beautiful in an outdoor setting. It's quite an unusual color to get really strong. So I was playing with, these are called ret reticulated glazes. So they go on quite smooth, but then as they as they're in the kiln, they contract and make these little globules and creates a kind of a textural, almost skin or armor-like element. <laughs> 